Hello and welcome to this lesson on Azure Active Directory, where we talk about device management and enterprise state roaming. So first of all, some general information. MDM stands for Mobile Device Management, while MAM stands for Mobile Application Management. Microsoft has solutions in all these areas. And in this lesson, we are going to discuss what Azure Active Directory can provide. For instance, you can connect devices to your Azure Active Directory and use these devices as an identity for authentication. Optionally, you can grant access only for devices marked as compliant. With enterprise state roaming, you can also make devices follow the user, which is a catchword here, um, also remember it for the exam. Um, so if the user has multiple devices, um, he can move certain profile settings um, from one device to another because in the background it's synced to the Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Of course, there are multiple ways to join devices to Azure Active Directory. For instance, we have the following join types. I gave you a table here for illustrative purposes. Um, if you require more detail, then look in the documentation. So the join types are Azure AD registered devices, which a case if you register a personal device with AAD, for instance, my Windows 10 computer, or Azure AD joint devices, which is the case for organizational Windows 10 devices that are not joined to an on-premises Azure Active Directory, and hybrid Azure AD joint devices, which is the case for a Windows 10 computer in your head office that is joined to an on-premises AD as well as Azure Active Directory. So these are the primary joint types that we are talking about. So let's continue to the next page. If you join a device to Azure Active Directory, you can opt in to um, add local administrators um, to this device. And in order to configure this, you must be either a global administrator or a device administrator in your Azure Active Directory. And by default, all global administrators and device administrators are added automatically as local administrators on um, Azure ID joint devices. So you do not need to add them here manually in this uh, dialog. So we already mentioned in the introduction that with enterprise state roaming or ESR, you achieve a follow the user experience for AD joint devices. Of course, you can further configure the sync settings and app data, which app data is synced across the devices. Um, for instance, the browsing history is quite common. In addition, you can also enable ESR for only single devices. So you would go to all users in Azure Active Directory, select the user and his devices, and there you can enable ESR on a per user and per device basis. And if you choose uh, to remove ESR from the device, data is only deleted in the cloud and not from the end user device. Let's consider the case that we want to mark a device as compliant or non-compliant. Well, Microsoft has multiple solutions for that um, that work in tandem with AAD when these solutions are not part of the exam. So just some name dropping here. And as you remember from the lesson on conditional access, um, you can use this compliant, non-compliant thing uh, together with conditional access policies. So on the next screen, we see this in action. Like uh, we see a conditional access policy being crafted um, that requires the, the device to be marked as compliant as well as hybrid Azure ID joint. Deleting devices in, in your on-premises AD or Azure ID does not remove registration on the client. It will only prevent access to resources using devices as an identity. And deleting a Windows 10 device only in Azure ID will resynchronize the device from your on-premises using AAD Connect, but as a new object in pending state. So that's it for this lesson on device management and enterprise state roaming. Again, we match the level of the exam, and this is all you need to know about it. So let's continue to the next lesson. Thank you, and bye-bye.